Welcome to the series of videos on functional programming in Kotlin with Aero. Aero is a library packed with data types and type classes bringing type functional programming to Kotlin. In this video, we are going to learn about Classly and what it's used for. Glicely is a data type used in Arrow to model a sequence of change functions of the shape from A to F of B. This allows us to change transformations of types with the monadic context. Glicely represents an arrow from D to monadic value kind of F and A. That means inside the Glicely we transform the type D into the type A inside F. Inside the Glicely, we specify the transformation. We can define a function from the input type to the monadic context with the output type. For example, a Glicely of id, int and double contains a function which receives as parameter an int and returns the id of double. We can use the applicative builder to create a Glicely. In this case, we specify the monadic context and the input type. This creates a Glicely applicative instance that we can use to create a Glicely with functions like map. We are using map in this case to get the result of the other two Glicelys and return the sum of both. The local function allows us to do a conversion on the original input value before it's executed. Creating a Glicely with the same input type of the conversion and the same context and output type. We can create a Glicely which receives a config object and uses local to transform the config parameter into the int or double before the Glicely k1 or k2 is executed. The ask function creates a Glicely with the same input and output types inside the monadic context. So, if we don't need to change to another output type, we will use ask to get the same type inside the monadic context. The mat function modifies the Glicely output value once the Glicely has been executed, then returns a new Glicely with a new output type to continue with more transformations. The flatmat function composes the Glicely with another Glicely, which must have the same input type as the first Glicely and the same monadic context to create a new one, with the initial input type and monadic context and the second Glicely output type. The undone function composes the Glicely output. We have a few ways to use and then. It can be used with another Glicely, like the flatmap function, and return another Glicely. With another function like the map function, changing the output type and returning a new Glicely with the new output type. Or it can be used to replace the Glicely result. In this case, we ignore the original Glicely result and only get the specifier before. This is useful to change the result for one of our transformations and get a new result inside a new Glicely. Glicely is really useful for encapsulating a transformation which returns a monadic value or concatenates them. In this video we learn about Glicely and the different methods to create and use it. We will learn more about those in future videos. Thanks for watching.